Oh no, I've been spookied. Oh, I nearly ran by it. Because of course I would. Because that's just this day apparently. Let's just forget every aspect of the game. And lose footage. And have to start a game and forget everything you're doing on top of your usual forgetfulness. Stop it. You're scaring nobody. You used to scare somebody, that somebody being me, but that time has passed. Huh? I was read this is a note, isn't it? Yes. I was read that whole sub story in this here to do with the creation of the mansion, which is great. I'm not reading it because it goes on for a while, and trust me, you do not want me to read this, always we're sitting here in silence. Yeah, it'd be. It wouldn't be good. Now I'm going to take this. This is going to close. Can I skip this? No, I can't. Again, as I said before, it's just, it may come across as busy work for the way I go about it. And the field may seem like oh, I'm getting annoyed quite easily at this thing that I apparently really like. Oh, God. I guess it's, I don't know. It's that kind of thing, journalists. Just, I really, I, uh, I can't explain. It's really like sorting out inventories. I like sorting out the item box that you saw. It was just to have this, have my order. I like to, and for my inventory, I like to put my guns and ammo up top. They go nice, they go together all nice, like. Things of that nature. Is that thing too? Where it's the people go, it says, ah, games control terribly. It's just you control good. Ah, but you know. The game control terribly can be used to set the mood, and you know, can be used to enhance it. Uh. Mm. I have forgotten now. Can't. Hang on. Right. Um. I can't remember. Is this red? I guess. Oh God! Why can't red, green, small green, red, big? Is this where each thing is hitting this red? I just want to move you down. That's right, the time is actually 6 o'clock, isn't it? Oh, balls. I'm doing to actually relax playing this game. No, 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 no. I'm tired of seeing Mansion Key. I'm just trying to think where the hell do I have to use it? Hmm. I feel like I've been neglecting my door opening duties. Is this store down here armor key or is it helmet? Helmet. Hmm. <clears throat> huh. Ah, guess rest on the get my bloody grenade launcher. And also, that was then an armor key, but that's lovely. There is the kind of thing in this game. Oh, oh no. Hold on, and problem two one's happening. Small one, though. As you saw there, I used up that key. I said, hmm, this key has no further use. Would you want to shove it over your shoulder or shove it over your shoulder? You want to chuck it over your shoulder and never think about it again? Yes or no? 
Resident Evil 2, they do a thing where it's just, as in remake I should say, they do a thing where it's just use all your, use your item up and it puts a little little red tick up in the corner in your inventory to say, hey, this is done with, there's no further use for this thing, and it even does that for keys. But it doesn't bother to say, hey, use this key to as most as, do you want to get rid of it? Why? And people say, oh, it's great the way that the, now that the item's put in a wee tick up in the corner to say that I had done with. Yeah, we did that ages ago with keys, but apparently we've feckin' regressed when it comes to key tech. A Resident Evil 1 original bloody did that. But here we are, feckin' twen 20 20 23 years later. 22? And our key tech has regressed. Ooh. 22, 23, oh dear. Also, here's Forrest. He ain't doing so hot. No, but I'm trying to remember. Do you, my packed friend, get up when I go over here and grab these doodads, or is it only when I grab this and then go over there and grab those doodads? Hmm. Fuck it. Cock. Oh god, it's raising quickly. What the? They don't have any defensive items. She fucking using them. You know what? I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna get back up. I made it the right arse of it. No, come here, come here, you. Is the mode you actually unlock? No, I never played because I actually it's, it's scared the hell out of me. Where you have forest here chasing you around for the whole game. You fly around from room to room, and I want to say, actually, if you shoot him, he explodes. Because, of course, <laughs> it takes out the whole mansion. And since I, oh, yeah, uh, she might do that. And since I never did it before, what I'm wondering is if they actually used the mansion explosion FMV to play the end of the game. Because that would be great. If you actually just be playing that mode, you show up, and it's just a cut to that, it'd be back and fantastic. Right, so now we're going to use... Okay, now, try to think. We're going to use our, our attic key that's going to save us space so we can grab the death mask. I want to say there are shotgun shells in there as well. So that's one, two... Three... Okay, I just want to make sure, because I want to take these. Just in case. I want to make sure I have space for anything that's going to be in there. Because I really have no need to go back. Oh, right. You may wonder why I'm preparing myself. There's a demon. Ammo should be here. Or not. Ammo should be up here. Busters, a different cutscene. What's about that to inspire? Oh, oh! Payback time. Yeah. Oh dear. Is someone right here? I can't see. Oh, that's right. They got rid of the wee stupid little barricade thing. Got that. Oh. Ah, ah, yeah. Balls. That's okay. Barry will save us. 
Now the reason why I am kind of loitering around here, I should really go, is because I'm waiting for this to finish. Here we go. And that was John defeated. A good job, well done. It's a good thing we saved Joseph so then that could... Oh. 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 Oh yes, it's Richard. Sorry, Richard. The last thing you heard was me getting your name wrong. Sorry. If it means anything, you are better than the actual Joseph. I'm going to get my arse nubbled. Oh, oh, I didn't. Oh, fine. Oh. Now it's just. Oh. Oh, I'm feeling dizzy. Oh, am I poisoned? No. Maybe. I need serum. Must have been. been, been num, num. If you're venomized. Oh. Is it still kind of poisoned? I don't know. Wait, we get no barry help? Oh, we got no barry help. We just, we have to do this ourselves. Oh dear. What the hell is the conditions then for barry helping you? See, that's why I was thinking there's a zombie in this room. It's because there is, but I always, if I get bit by the snake, barry tends to actually help me. So I forgot that he was there. I'm confused. A game that I've played through, nigh on, 12 times. This all confuses me. No, that may be just due to poor memory on my part. Or maybe both. I don't know. All I know is that I need to get my feckin' hours down here. And hopefully your man hasn't been all crimsied. But it may be fine. It's probably fine. Probably. Ah, look, he's still down and everything. Very grand. Well, I didn't really think about it until there now. Like, the common complaint that I see... But Resident Evil 2 remake is the soundtrack and the lack thereof or very understated nature of it. But now you're playing this, I think it's pretty much the same. Oh, I think it's not much going on. Like the original Resident Evil 1 had a lot of music playing. Every room had its own basically theme. So now going to this and realize it's actually it's not that much. Or maybe there's something wrong with my headphones. Hold on a second. No, I'm not hearing anything. Weird. Oh wait, God, I need this. Oh no, no, I can't. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't know if this is actually timed, but you know, better safe than loading the last save. All right, just doing this in one. That's what you do with serum, isn't it? Right, so actually, no, we didn't actually bring it up. Uh. Richard died, but we got a shotgun. Isn't that lovely? I'm trying to think what the main difference is. One is the obvious the fact that it can hold more ammo. I don't know if it's actually more powerful or not. I don't think it is. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe you're wondering, well, why did I go through the bar to get another shotgun? And really, uh, just right there in that second, I was asking myself the same thing. But then I remembered, well, that shotgun came with ammo, so I got some extra shells to use. Really, that's why. Right, where are we at here? I need to sort this. Okay, pop you away. Yeah, pop you away. I hit that. I remember that now. I think it's just you put that in there and it says, No, I want to swap the slots. I don't want to change the ammo type of the goddamn grenade launcher. Put you away. Hmm. I may be wrestling about the fact 
I was gonna hope that I find a red pistol pistol. Eh. You know what? Again. Better safe than sorry. It hasn't been that long since I saved, but you know what? In a world where footage gets lost. Not taking any chances. You know what? Actually, I just realized I may have made a colossal cock of. I should have checked that I have the footage before saving over an old save. Oh, ho, 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 Good news. Footage remains. It's great that this whole thing. Like, the game itself isn't scaring me anymore. But what is scaring me is the possibility that my feckin' footage is going to disappear and I'll have to replay things. We're getting meta with the spookies in this one. Let right, you away. Okay, so what do we have to do? We can either clear the room with the fish tank and all and get the feckin' do damage icky, the crest. Or we should probably do this and get the hell on with it. Uh, do, 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 um, I need you because I need to get rid of the ammo in this, so I feel good about scrapping it. <sighs> All right. I'm trying to think now. Okay, I think are we actually at the guardhouse now? We may be, which is actually I'm quite surprised out of that is indeed the case. Now, come on here, you cheeky get. We're doing this bloody rodeo again. I'm not going to walk so far back that the camera changes. I'm just going to wait very patiently for you to waddle your way over here. I can't see. Hope for the best. Grand. You know, I was thinking there. You know, I was thinking there about the fact. You Nowhere know, at the guardhouse. The zombies get replaced by hunters whenever we come back. I'm just getting realized that the whole. Like burning thing kind of goes out the window. Yeah, you're still pretty normal. Like I said, if, if you're decent at not killing zombies, you're not really going to encounter it much in the guardhouse, and then when you get back, practically every zombie, except for one area, where logically it makes sense that there wouldn't be hunters because the area is actually enclosed until you get back from the guardhouse, it's actually, I really like that fact. You don't actually really encounter zombies ever again. It's, it's hunters in the mansion until you get to the lab, or those little segments I should say as well. And the lab's so short that you don't really find them. Because like, by the time you... Like, the end, I'm trying to think, like, the lab is a incredibly short section, section. They all day and like, there's no time for them to turn the crimson. So it's kind of, it's a, it's a neat cat is he gone? Like, it's a neat mechanic, this kind of goes away. All oh, these zombies clear out when... Ah, no, no, can't pick up that, because one, I don't have the space, but two, I don't actually want to reload this thing because of the crimson head, spoilers, uh, should die with these six shells. But yeah, like, it's an interesting mechanic for the, ho for the whole burning bodies thing, but I feel like it just, it kind of goes away after the initial... Like this first part in the mansion. What are you missing again? He's uh, right. It's you. Pop you in. I don't know if they actually established why there's a crimson head contained within this coffin. Because I remember before thinking, like, ah, is that fucking George Trevor? Is this what happened to him? But I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I can't remember now if this is supposed to be someone or if it's just a crimson head that got put. Uh, okay, let's break us down. He was put in a coffin, a metal coffin, hung up to the ceiling of a really more of a kind of a cave area. No, these are proper stone walls, so I guess not cave area as such. This, actually, the whole brickwork seems to have ended around this point, so I guess sort of cave area. Suspended to the ceiling of a cave. Via chains. We have a weird furnace room. And the chains are being held in place by a mechanism where you need to put a mask to... Oh, this is partially what I mean when I say a horror theme game more than a horror game. This is very much an adventure game. Yes, yeah, I think it's this one. Nope, the wrong one. 
I think Resident Evil, classic Resident Evil, is very much an adventure game. And that's actually one of the things that made me go, huh, maybe this is why I really like Resident Evil. Because I actually really like adventure games, old adventure games. And someone said, Resident Evil is just an adventure game of combat. And it's just when I, heard, when I read that, it's like, God, you're right. It really is. Like, the amount of innate bollocks that is in the series when it comes to his puzzles and all, where it's just this thing go here, this thing go here, it's like, yeah, sure, why not? And as with a lot of uh, adventure game series, you're gonna come running at me and I'm gonna shoot you with this. Come on. Come on. Oh dear. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. This is going quite poor, actually. Um, where's my help? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I did not plan for this particularly well. You're still alive, I know, but... No, I know you're still... Wait. Oh. Really? I mean, I shouldn't complain, because, you know... Fair enough. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. Just, just wait a second. It's all about just the complete nonsensical nature of this room and the coffin suspended and ceiling. When, oh, whenever the chains all disconnect and so on, it says, ah, but then this door closes. Uh, but then also there is a button in the coffin that opens the door. So, is this door wireless? Is, or rather, is this switch in this door function some kind of wire, this early 90s wireless technology? Like, what? Huh. But anyways, I was going to say is, does... As it turns out that this game being my favourite, this Resident Evil game, and also along the same lines, the original Resident Evil, it being an adventure game also plays the same thing with me, which is the first adventure game in a long run series is my no 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 don't reload that. It ends up being my favourite. So it says, ah, Monkey Island. What's my favourite Monkey Island game? The first one. I didn't like I didn't really care much for what they did too, and I didn't care for the ending. Uh, don't get me wrong, the like, two is still a very good game. Uh, Monkey Island 3 looks fantastic. Like absolutely fantastic. Uh Broken Sword series. First one's my favourite, did not like what they did with two tonally, I just I didn't like the darker tone to it, I know, it's just, I've found the art still kind of weirdly off-putting, can't quite explain it. Uh, but Broken Sword 3, which is actually my first Broken Sword, I am going to maintain, right, that game, it ain't Broken Sword 1 or 2 when it comes to this puzzle game, puzzle game, when it comes to this puzzle aspects, because a lot of it is, I'm going to push a crate, because hey, it's 3D and how make puzzle in 3D game. Where the hell am I going? Alright, remember now. Uh, should I go this way? Or can I go? No, I'm just going to go up and around. But the writing in Broken Sword 3. That, I will stand by as being some of the funniest in the series. From memory. It's been a wee bit. I suppose I'm trying to think. I'm just talking about uh, love adventure games me, but... Uh... I don't remember you at all. Huh. Well, there you go. And now I have the space, we can actually clear out this room and get this damn crest as well. Fantastic. Alright, come here. No, I suppose when I think about it too, it's not just Resident Evil, really, this, this style of survival horror, like, even when it stands to the likes of Silent Hill, Silent Hill had... Sam Hill was, I don't want to say more action but really it's not the case, because the you think about it, Sam Hill had difficulty select for puzzles. Like, that game actually delved more into puzzles than Resident Evil did, I would say. So I guess it makes sense that I prefer this classic style of horror game, where it's just, eh, it's an adventure game, but with combat. I, you know what, I suppose that's the thing. Horror games nowadays... <laughs> Back in my day, horror games had action, but not a lot of it. Now these days, you just go around running away from everything when you're being chased. It's like, where's that fun in that? When really, that's probably the truest to horror th than these games, if I'm honest. Like, 
No, I will not. My new Wii U. But as much as I really, really like a uh, couple of games I'm thinking of, the first person horror game, like Amnesia. Amnesia, fantastic when it comes to atmosphere and so on, but it's like, I don't like that as much because I just can't like Resident Evil. Here's the thing, it was really, it comes down to it's just the ground level that really makes sense. I am not really a fan of horror at all. I do not like horror films or anything like that. Uh, oh yeah, you. This is, I don't understand the logic in this, but let's not question it. It's just this bee that I handled, or hornet, what have you, and flung around the place. It's just, it was fine. It's just asleep, very stiffly, and then it's just, it felt the vibration of the platform. What the fuck is this? Who the fuck are you? And just came flying at me. But let's just not think about that. But yeah, horror horror in general I don't like as someone that's maybe not uh, always in the best state of mind the idea was hey let's spend an hour and a half or two hours watching some just complete and utter misery y yeah typically not doing much for me but horror games I tend to be more in for and I don't quite understand why it's just how it is the only horror film I want to say the only horror film I have watched and will repeatedly wash is the thing and I don't quite know why the thing is it's very unique and again very heavy in atmosphere and so on so it's maybe it's just something about that that clicks with me not sure also I saw that film way okay it's gonna say I saw that film way too young but also it had zero impact on me which is really weird considering some of the feckin imagery in that film in terms of the gore and the effects and all D nothing I distinctly remember more about that than I currently do about what I'm supposed to be doing here. What am I? <laughs> so I'm going to fight the doctor. You know what? I need healing items. I'm just going to do two of these and take these with me. Oops. See, I'm going to be shooting a zombie. No, I don't plan on coming back here. Okay, what? No. You know what, I'm going to take this crest with me and just put it in along the way. This is probably a very stupid idea on my part, but I'm going to do it any way. I thought there were like little thingies in the bottom. Am I forgetting something? Back it. You can just go back in the box. I've obviously forgotten what to do with you. Whoops. Do we have nothing else in here? We have a sword key. God, I still haven't used all the fucking sword key. What? Back it. We're moving on. Except it's going to turn out I'm forgetting something else and we're not actually going to move on. It seems likely. But yeah, memories of the thing. The, the my earliest, Some of my earliest memories of watching films is the thing. Ball bags. I really didn't think that broke that fast. Well, here we go. It fucking serves me right. Ernest's memories are... Oh, what part of the film is it? I'm trying... I can't remember the right. I'm trying to just remember this going from a recent rewatch. Recent, relatively. If you remember the scene where it's sound off, where you have the Petri... The Petri dish scene. Shall we say this gob shade? Should have kept the feckin' shotgun, shouldn't I? Should have kept the feckin' sh Yeah, you, you pop into existence, you feckin' shambly cretin. Can I get around you? Do I have a defense? It's a waste of a defensive item, though. I don't want to use the ammo. And ah, feck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just blah, blah, blah. The Petri dish scene post is the transformation after the Petri dish scene that I distinctly remember. Because it's something to do with the height of the creature just whenever the transformation happens. It's, it's that. It's, that is stuck in my mind. From that night, I remember in our sitting room, lights out. My father was watching it. My brother was there. I don't know why we were there since he was very... Wrong way. Since he was very... Um, 
not protective as such, but it, if it's 18 rated film, no, you cannot watch that. It's very strict when it comes to that. Not so much for games, though I don't think they really, I don't think my parents really understood uh, game ratings. As whenever I asked my mother years, many years later, hey, you always got these games for us that were like 16 to 18, and she found it just, seems she seemed to think that it was like toys, where it's just for ages, 6 to 12. They like, no! <laughs> that's not, that's, uh, GTA wasn't rated 18, or Manhunt wasn't rated 18 because, oh, it's a bit tricky to play. <laughs> That's right. Now, if this second zombie is in here now, then that's going to be a problem since I don't have the defensive item. So I'm going to have to be on my toes. Okay, he's not here. Alright. Alright, you. I'm just going to kill you. Oh, yo, 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 that's why there's two, because he comes in. Well, that's that mystery solved.